Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, death. the most venomous snake in the world is the one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Okay, Mr. Weasel. Oh, jeez. Is that any way to greet me, huh? Huh? Is that any way to greet me? Huh? Look what I got. Is that a nice rat? Huh? Is that a nice rat? I know, I see that tail wiggling back there. I see that tail wiggling back there. Are you awake? I know you're awake. You're focused on me. Good job, Mr. Weasel. There you go. Oh, that's a nice one, huh? I guarantee you, tomorrow morning, he'll be uh, banging at the glass saying, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. There you go, bud. I'll keep you busy for a few minutes. Yeah, I know, I see you too. Miss Ottoman. Miss Ottoman, huh? What would you like? Huh? What would you like, Miss Ottoman? Would you like that? Huh? Yes? No? There you go, Miss Ottoman. There you go. <sighs> Miss Ottoman was a bit hesitant. <clears throat> okay. Now it's time for more fun with the beasts from the Middle East. Oh, calm down, calm down. It's just a piece of wood. It's just a piece of wood. Would you like something, huh? <laughs> hey! You're, you know, you might have to go on a diet. Look at that. That's a robust viper. That's a robust viper. Yes, I'm out of range. At least I hope I am. Would you like that? Oh, I'll say. Come on. Come on. Take your booty back in there. There you go. Go ahead. There you go. Go on. There you go. Eesh. Well, let's see what do we got here. We have the other beast from the Middle East. Oh, what the hell? We'll, uh, we'll live dangerously. But I got over here, huh? Ah, oh, nasty. Okay. There's Daddy Eckes. There's Mommy Eckes. There's a whole bunch of Eggy Eckes back there. So let's uh, extract them and have a look. Oh, there's a whole bunch of Echis eggs, Echis coloratus. 
Arabian saw scales where they're uh, glued together in typical uh, fashion. I don't know if uh, they could be taken apart. I suppose I should try. But there you have it. Uh, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight Ekis eggs. Nine Ekis eggs. Good job there, Mom. Let's see if we can get them to hatch now. These I know are from it, fertile. Uh, the male knows what to do. Unlike our coral cobras. Okay, here they are in the incubator. Uh, hopefully uh, everybody will uh, will mature and uh, won't have any problems. There's ten of them. Now, I'm very cautious with pit vipers and holes in deli cups because I've seen people get tagged by pit vipers through the holes in the deli cup. Not through the plastic, they go, they're able to strike right through the hole. That's how accurate they are. Very nice, lovely little Transpecos. And sounds, uh, it's like a real firecracker by the buzzing of that tail. So that's, that's a present for Mr. Bob, because Mr. Bob does lots of nice things for the Viper Keeper. Like look after the kids when I'm away. So uh, that is something that uh, Bob really, really likes. And uh, uh, therefore, uh, it's his. Look at him, isn't he nice? Look at that yellow. He's high yellow. And the girl was high red, huh? Oh, this smells natural. Huh? Am I back in a forest? Huh? Would you like a drink, huh? The drinks are on me, you know. There you go. Thirsty? Oh, yeah. He's a thirsty little guy. There you go. There you go. He's going to have nice blue along the side of his head there where the venom glands are. That's all going to be a pretty sky blue. And he's got mostly yellow with some red accents. He will be very, very nice. Is that good, huh? Is that okay? You know how to drink now, okay? You're you're done. Yeah. Oh no 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 traveling around exploring. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? You are, huh? Okay. Where's the missus? Where's the evil? Uh, Evil female. I don't see her. I know she's lurking in there. I know. Huh? I know, look. Rough death at her, Cam. Are oh, you gonna do happy death at her, huh? Very good, thank you. That's very nice. That's very nice, bud. When are you going to breed with these girls, huh? When are you going to breed with these girls? It sort of looks like Godzilla. You know, if you look at Godzilla from the top, it sort of looks like it. Hi, bud. I know, you're, you're a good guy. You're a good guy, I know. That's the camera. That's the king trying to figure out what end to eat first. Okay. Why don't you go on back in your, uh, your cage and uh, eat that and stay away from the girl with, uh, with mouse on your breath. Now, we see the weasel. 
Weasel's behaving himself for the moment, but that could change just because I looked at him. Oh, you're pathetic. Well, this is an oddity. Did she threaten to beat you up if you didn't come back with some mice or chicks or something, huh? It's very rare to see him up at the glass looking around for stuff. Here. Yeah. Yeah, that's not chicks. Isn't that yummy, huh? Is that what you're looking for, huh? Yeah, you bet. The tour you behave yourself, I'll give you something later, but you leave this guy eat, uh, in peace, okay? Huh? Okay. I always like to show you this guy because he's just nasty and evil and very good, very good animal with his uh, strikes. Very accurate, super long reach, that's the Malayan Pit Viper. Or, better known as the Finger Rotters. Because if you get bit in the hand, uh, Bill Hast had to retire from snake, keep, uh, snake uh, uh, extractions uh, later in life because of his Malayan pit viper bite he took. Uh, he said that his bone in his fingers just melted away. Uh, and, you know, he couldn't hold snakes anymore safely, uh, so he had to stop uh, milking in his uh, uh, late 80s. Uh, very, very nasty critter. Kills more people in its range than any other snake. Well, I take you're hungry. Huh? You just shed last night? Hello? How are you? Where are you going? Where are you going? Now come on this way. Come on. Come on. Don't. I don't want to intervene. Stay away from the light. You'll burn yourself. You'll burn yourself. Come here. Yeah, I know. I know. Come on. Come on. Come here. Come here. You're getting to be a big boy. Come here, go in there. That's right. That's right. Here. No, come on, stop. No, do you want to eat? I don't have time to play around with you again today. You're always trying to bite my hand. That's my hand. Leave it alone. Come on. Stop. You can be real annoying. What, you just want to screw around? Hey, nice try though. Come on! Whoa. Hey! Yeah, I had to get rough with you. I had to get rough with you. Come on. In your cage. Go on. You know, he gets in these moods. Last night he was as gentle as a lamb. Oh, now we're going to pout? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You were over the top. Okay, he's pouting now. Hey, come here. Come on. Come on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bud. Come on. Come on. Have something to eat. Come here. Come here. Oh, he's a poo face now. Holy cow. He was being a little bit overly aggressive. I had to uh, defend myself uh, Three Musketeers style there with the uh, with the forceps. Come on. Come on. 
Come on, don't be pooey. Don't be pooey. Come on. Come on. No, come on. No, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, I'm not going low f for your benefit to bite me. Here, stop. Look, if you don't eat now, you're not going to eat this week. Come on. There you go. You can be super, super difficult, I'll tell you. Goes in the back there and pouts even. Holy crap. Okay, guys, who pooed in there? No, I think you're Kermit. Hi, Kermie. Go. Go, bud. Go. There you go, bud. You got it? You got it? No, you don't, do you? Come on. Let go of my whiskers. Let go of my whiskers, Mr. Kermit. There you go. Oh, uh, I see that one. See, now Kermit would never do that. <laughs> Kermit would never draw a bead on me. Now you leave Kermie alone, huh? Here. There you go. You leave Kermit alone. It's funny how these snakes <laughs> obviously know that uh, when the door is opening, uh, there could be uh, food in it for them. Hi, Pogo. Hi, Pogo. Thank you, girly. Huh? Yeah. Bothrops. Very bad. Now, Miss Simons has been ready to feed for days. Haven't you, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Here. Now, Mr. Venezuelensis has really sort of taken a shine to geckos. Hmm? Ah, roar! Oh, I like geckos. How's that, bud, huh? You eat your gecko. And I'm going to try to turn that around. There you go. Oh boy, he's really going at that, huh? Oh yeah, you can't wait to get that down there. This may actually qualify as Bothrop's Venezuelensis cam.
Let's give him some space. 